Hey guys, Dungeon Master 201 here, and we're about to do the Elite Four class of the Earl's Pokemon Academy. Alright, multiply damage. Yeah, 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 we all know. There are certain things that make it more powerful, like certain items, the environment, like if it's sunny. Which item doubles the physical attack power of Cubone? That would be Thick Club. Support moves. These include the things that lower the attack, change the weather, increase your attack, confuse the enemy with some, or give an enemy some type of uh, status effect. Thunder Wave is ineffective against which type of Pokemon? That would be Ground type. Moves and tactics. Basically what it's saying is make sure you know your moves, how they work, how they can help you. Which move increases speed? That would be agility. Alright. Multi-type. Teach your Pokemon of moves it hates. Basically what it's saying is give your Pokemon a move that it normally hate, like uh, give your Starmie, oh I don't know, Thunderbolt. If Starmie is to be taught a move it hates, which of the following should it be taught? Oh, speaking of which, Thunder. Move combos. It's things like uh, if you have use uh, defense curl before. Um, uh, damn, what am I thinking? Uh, roll out. It'll increase the attack beforehand, as it's already in a ball, as seen in the uh, the gym leader uh, vid. What moves power is doubled if? it is used after defense curl rollout as seen in one of the gym leader uh, skill tests uh, belly drum makes the moves more deadly did you know there are moves that vary with the target status or the weather yes I did if the move, uh, opponent uses minimize stomp is supposed to make it more deadly Morning sun uh, makes uh, sinuses and moonlight uh, get your full health back. Same with sinuses. <coughs> what moves power is doubled if used against a target that used minimize? That would be stomp. Switching. Yeah, you don't want to have a Pikachu unless it knows uh, Sir against the Cubone. You don't want a Cubone against the Sunflora there. Switching Pokemon is very important. What is necessary for switching? Uh, various Pokemon. You can't switch if you only have one. Which move is powered up 1.5 times if it is used by Tauros? That would be Double Edge. Reading the foe's moves. It's pretty much saying if you have like an uh, Azum roll and you're going against, oh, I don't know, a grass type, it's most likely going to use a, a grass move against you. 
to try and take you out as quickly as possible. Which normal type move can be learned by Meganium? That would be Body Slam. Holding on to items. Some wild Pokemon can be carrying uh, items. All Pokemon in Generation 1 are by default holding an item, but you don't see them until you transfer them to a Generation 2 game. A wild Clefairy may be holding an item other than Mystery Berry, and that would be a fucking Moonstone. Don't know why because they can be easily found in the wild every Monday. We're almost done with the uh, lessons. It would be easy to find an egg between male and female of which kind of Pokemon? Uh, the same. We've completed the lessons. Alright, we're about to take the Elite Four class test. Of the following, which is Blissey's highest stat? HP. Which of the following is Safeguard's move type? Normal. Which move is especially effective after using Rain Dance? Thunder, as it'll make it hit every time. If affected, the target faints in three turns. What is this move? Uh, Parish Song. Surprisingly, Arbok can learn which of the following moves. I think it's Earthquake? Ah, oh, good. If you're giving priority to defense, which Pokemon should be switched in when the opponent is electric type ground? Lowers the foe's accuracy. Hold. What is this item? That would be Bright Powder. Which is the normal type move that Meganium can learn? Body Slam. Of the following, which move works regardless of type? Toxic. Fuck! Which can pass down an egg move when it's left in the daycare? The male Pokemon. So I missed one. Your wisdom is impeccable. Wonderfully done. Be proud and go tell others. That's why I'm recording this, you fat fuck. Alright, we're about to do the skill test. Uh, first up is Cool Trainer Connor. I rely solely on Hyper Beam. Only the toughest Pokemon will be able to withstand it. Have a blast of Hyper Beam. It's a one-hit KO for most Pokemon. You're a douche. That's what you are. So basically, we want to go with... Why the hell is Raichu holding a stick? Alright, basically we're going to go with Pikachu. No, we're going to start with... Shuckle, Pikachu, and Cubone. This thing is faster than me. It's gonna use Hyper Beam. I'm gonna take a little bit of dick. Ow! That actually hurt. Ah, 
So we are switching to Pikachu. Under normal circumstances, you would not use a level 50 against a level 80. But it has a light ball. So this thing is going to freaking fry Gyarados. And we are switching to Shuckle. Cubone here. lose a Pokemon here. Let's get out there. Yeah, I know, it's injured. No, thanks to a critical hit. And Pikachu! This battle just goes to show if you're an idiot, you deserve to lose. No one would just have Hyper Beam as their only move. What? How could the battle go that way? I can't believe it. You're an idiot. You deserved it. A Pikachu holding a light bowl, ball and a Cubone holding a thick club. Well thought. I lost completely. You earned a magnificently perfect win by using every factor to your advantage. It's too amazing. Alright, skill test number two, Cool Trainer Becky. First I raise my attack stat, then I use Hyper Beam. Can your Pokemon safely weather such a blast? Oh my, will these Pokemon be able to keep up with our speed? But you said you were for attack! So basically what it's saying is... Endure. Endure. They all know freaking endure. Hmm. Okay. So basically we want to try and increase our speed. So we're going to go with Raichu. 
Scyther, and Raticate. Basically, you want to increase your speed or decrease her speed. Use Endure. And then use Reversal during the uh, recovery uh, round. He's going to, she's going to increase her attack, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and increase our agility. I think we can now safely use Endure. at one hit point. And we should be able to take this thing out. Why? It's going to go with a uh, good old uh, stat increase. And we're going to have to go with Ender. going to go with another Endure. So I don't think I can take that third. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, it had to miss. What an ass load of shit! So we're going to need to do Endure. And Reversal. And we can take this thing out. I think I can take this thing out.
And that's uh, skill test number two for the elite class. You're atrocious. I'm going to tell Earl. An endure and reversal combo? Could you teach me how to do that? I just did. Your Pokemon choices were right on the money. You earned that beautiful win by boosting your speed. Alright, we're on battle number three. Juggler Ferris showed me some beautiful combos. Dragonite, Tyranitar. Assist us in this demonstration. So on this one, this is about combos. We want Golem, Polyrath, and Steelix. We're going to go with Defense Curl so we can increase our rollout. And we're going to go with Rollout. Next one should knock it out. And he will bring out his Tyranitar, which will serve. And there's nothing you can do about it. And Golem's done. God damn. Not just done, but drowned. So now we want to bring out Polyrath and use the combo. Mind Reader and Dynamic Punch. Mind Reader will make the next move always hit no matter what it is. Now we're going to have to use, yeah, you know, I think this thing will never hurt itself. We're going to use Mind Reader. Oh, it does hurt itself. And we're now going to use the dynamic punch and finish this thing. Mind reader. What's that? It's so careful, eh? 
Ah, nuts. Dynamic punch. Depending on what happens here, oh, I can win. Alright, let's knock this thing out already. That was a bit of luck. Win, lose. My performance still needs some work. I'm going home to train by juggling a hundred times. I never knew such an inspired combo existed. I've got to keep polishing my act. You made excellent use of combos. You are quite a beautiful student. And the final one, Swimmer Julian. I'm feeling sort of blue. I'll show you how my rain dance and thunder combo. Basically, you're going to be countering with sunny day. Do you like rainy days? Uh, it depends. Gives me a legitimate excuse not to go out. No? So basically for this one, We want to use the Pokemon that know Sunny Day. So we're going to go with Executor, Houndoom, and Jump Bluff. And we've got Starmie. I don't know if I'm faster than this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead with a stomp. Ah, um, oh hey. Ah, oh, come on. And we're going to go with Sunny Day. We just need one more stomp to destroy this thing. Let's see if we can connect. So that's one down. We're almost done. I think Golda can learn Thunder. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, 
And our next turn, we're going to restore our health. Nothing beats a good old sunny day. Man. Good. And we've got one last uh, stomp and we'll uh, take out Gold Duck. Uh, One more. Stomp. One more stomp should finish this thing off. Aw, oh, come on. And that finishes Earl's Pokemon Academy. I've been attending the academy since I was little. It makes me furious to lose. A team that becomes stronger with Rain Dance is very weak against Sunny Day, so you're mean. It's clear you understand combos that rely on weather. A beautifully, beautifully executed perfect victory. Yahoo, you did it. You defeated all the opponents. Congratulations. You did extremely well on your challenges. Wonderful. Since you have collected all the stars from this class, you've earned this gift. I present you the class advancement medal. You can now read the uh, question marks at the library. Now go outside and keep working toward your goals. Good luck. So basically for completing it all, you are awarded the ability to look up knowledge. Great, thanks you fat bastard. <laughs>